Welcome to the Granny Square series. In this video, you can learn how to make this cute puffy circle in a granny square. There's one in that's Moonstone from the Stonewash range. And then there's a mushroom from the Stylecraft range. So I'm using DK acrylic yarn with a four millimeter hook. I'll put the details in the description below. So I'm starting with a double magic circle and then I've chained one. Just find that tail end. There we go. Right, so to begin, we're going to make six puff stitches with a chain two space between each one. So to make our first puff stitch, we're just going to pull that chain up to the height of a US double UK treble. We're going to make three loop puff stitches. So we're going to yarn over, go into the circle, pull your yarn through. We're then going to yarn over, go into the circle, pull the yarn through. That's two times. And then the third time. Yeah, we're then going to pull the yarn, yarn over and pull the yarn through all those loops. We're then going to chain two. Yeah. And we're going to repeat that five more times. So I'll show you one more. We're going to yarn over, go in, pull through, pull up to the height of a US double, UK treble. Yarn over for the second time, go in, pull through. And then yarn over for the third time, go in, pull through. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Pull through that first chain, yeah? and chain two, Oops. and we're then going to repeat four more times to make six puff stitches all together. I'll see you at the end of the round. So I'm just making my last stitch now. Yeah, I'm going to chain two. And we're going to pull the circle tight before slip stitching. So we just pull on the tail slightly, see which loop tightens first. Pull that loop tight and then pull the tail. Yeah. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch we made. Yeah. And then slip stitch into the chain space. And that's the end of round one. Six puff stitches with chain two space between. So for round two, we're going to chain one. And we're going to make in each chain two space, we're going to make a puff stitch, chain one, another puff stitch, and then chain one. So we bring that to height. Three loop puff stitches again. One. Two. Three. Chain one and then make the second puff stitch and two and three pull through and chain one. So we're going to go round into the next space and repeat in each chain two space. Yeah, and I'll see you at the end of the round. I'm just finishing off my last stitch, chain one. So at the end of the round, at the end of round two, you should have 12 stitches with a chain one space between each stitch. And we're just gonna slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch to join. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the chain space to finish off. So there's round two. So coming into round three, we're going to make a puff stitch in each chain one space with a chain two space between each stitch. So we're going to chain one for that starting one, pull up to the height of your US double, UK treble, and we're going to make three loop puff stitches. If you want, you could do four loop puff stitches here because you've got a bit more space. 
pull through and then chain two. Yeah, and we're going to move across into the next chain space. Keep the stitches low though, the same as a US double UK treble, even if you do add that extra loop now. A little bit. There we go. Oops. I'm going to do that second stitch again. So it's easy enough to undo your work. So yeah, as I was saying, even if you do use four loops, don't make the stitch higher. Yeah, chain two and then into the next space. And we're going to go like that all the way around. So at the end of the round, you'll have 12 stitches and 12 chain two spaces. And I'll see you at the end of the round. Just making my last stitch now, chain two. And I'm at the end of the round. Don't worry if it feels like it's curling a bit. Um, it will pull out when we square it up. So after chaining two, we're going to slip stitch oops, into the top of the first puff stitch. And then slip stitch into the chain two space. And that's round two. So for round three, we're going to make it into a square. Yeah, we're going to chain one. And we're going to make a US single, UK double. And then we're going to make two half US doubles, half US trebles. Yeah. The next space is going to be the corner. And we're going to make six stitches in there. We're going to make two US doubles, UK trebles. We're going to make a US treble, UK double treble. Oops. We're then going to chain one and we're going to make another US treble, UK double treble into the same space and then two US doubles, UK trebles. Yeah. We're then going to make into the next space two US half US doubles, half US uh, UK trebles, and then one US single UK double. Yeah, And that's our repeat. So we're gonna now go into here, the same as we started here, with a single US single UK double, then two half US doubles, half US uh, UK trebles, and then the six stitches for the corner. Yeah, so um, I'll meet you back at the end of the round. So at the end of the round, you should have finished with two half stitches and then the US single UK double. And then we can just slip stitch across to join. Yeah, and then you're gonna wanna give that a little a little block and it's finished isn't that cute and doesn't the cream creamy color and the eggshell color look pretty together so i'll see you in the next video